hip bone. The hip bone is a large, irregular, flat bone which is situated in the pelvic region. Two hip bones, along with the sacrum and coccyx, form the bony pelvis. It presents a cavity in its lateral side known as the acetabulum, which articulates with the head of the femur to form the hip joint. It has three separate parts, ilium, pubis, ischium. During early life, the three bones are separated by a Y-shaped cartilage, which later ossifies, the place of union being in the walls of the acetabular cavity. Ilium. It is the flat, expanded part above the acetabular cavity. It has the following parts, two ends, upper and lower, three borders, anterior, posterior and medial, three surfaces, gluteal, iliac fossa and pelvic. Upper end. This is also known as the iliac crest. It is elongated and expanded. It makes up the upper border of the ilium. The highest point of the iliac crest is situated at a level between the third and fourth lumbar vertebrae. When looked at in the horizontal plane, the crest is concave inward anteriorly and convex inward posteriorly. Anterior superior iliac spine. It is a projection situated at the anterior end of the iliac crest. Posterior superior iliac spine is a projection situated at the posterior end of the iliac crest. The crest is divided into ventral two-thirds and dorsal one-third segments. Ventral segment. This presents with outer lip, inner lip, and an intermediate segment. The outer lip presents with a tubercle about 5 cm behind and above the anterior superior iliac spine and is known as the tubercle of the iliac crest. The intermediate area lies between the outer and inner lips. Dorsal segment. It extends from its junction with the ventral two-thirds till the posterior superior iliac spine. It presents an inner and outer surface separated by a ridge. Lower end. It is smaller and forms about two-fifths of the articular surface of the acetabulum. Anterior border. It extends from the anterior superior iliac spine till the acetabulum. A small notch is present just below the spine for the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Anterior inferior spine is a projection in the lower part. Posterior border. It extends from the posterior superior iliac spine to become continuous with the posterior border of the ischium. From above downwards it presents with posterior inferior spine, greater sciatic notch, ischial spine, lesser sciatic notch. Medial border. It extends downwards from the iliac crest till the iliopubic eminence. It separates the iliac fossa from the sacro-pelvic surface. Its lower part is smooth, round, and is called the arcuate line. Gluteal surface. It is the outer surface of the bone. It is convex anteriorly and concave posteriorly. This surface is bounded above by the iliac crest, below by the upper border of acetabulum, in front by the anterior border, and behind by the posterior border. It becomes continuous with the posterior surface of the ischium behind the acetabulum. It is split into four spaces by three lines. Posterior gluteal line. It is the shortest line which extends from the outer lip of the iliac crest 5 cm anterior to the posterior superior iliac spine till a point right in front of the posterior inferior iliac spine. Anterior gluteal line. It is the longest line which extends from the middle of the upper border of the greater sciatic notch to become continuous with the outer lip of the iliac crest. Inferior gluteal line. It extends from above and behind the anterior inferior iliac spine and runs down and back till the upper part of the greater sciatic notch. Iliac fossa. It is an area which lies between the anterior border in front, medial border behind, and iliac crest above. It is smooth and concave. It presents with a nutrient foramen in its posterior inferior part which transmits the nutrient artery. 
The Nutrient Artery is derived from the Iliolumbar Artery. A groove is present between the anterior inferior iliac spine and iliopubic eminence which lodges the iliopsoas tendon. Sacro-pelvic surface. It is situated behind the medial border and is divided into two parts, sacral part and the pelvic part. Sacral part presents with an auricular surface anteriorly and the iliac tuberosity posteriorly. Auricular surface. It lies below and anterior to the iliac tuberosity. It resembles the shape of a pinna of the ear, hence the name. It articulates with the auricular surface of the sacrum. Iliac tuberosity is a rough area below the iliac crest. Pelvic surface. It lies below and anterior to the auricular surface. It is smooth and is continuous with the pelvic surface of the ischium. Preauricular sulcus is a groove which is situated in front of the auricular surface and along the lateral margin of the greater sciatic notch. Pubis. It forms the anterior part of the hip bone and articulates with the opposite bone forming the symphysis pubis. It also forms the anterior one-fifth of the acetabulum. Parts. Body, superior ramus and inferior ramus. Body. It connects the superior and inferior rami. It has three surfaces, one border, the pubic crest, and the pubic tubercle. Anterior surface faces forwards, downwards, and laterally. The posterior surface is smooth and forms the anterior wall of the bony pelvis. Its upper part is related to the urinary bladder. Symphysial surface is rough and oval. It articulates with the symphysial surface of the opposite pubis to form a secondary cartilaginous joint. It is covered by hyaline cartilage. Pubic crest is the blunt upper border of the pubis. Pubic tubercle is a rounded projection at the lateral end of the pubic crest. It is crossed by the spermatic cord in males or round ligament of the uterus in females. Superior ramus. It arises from the superolateral angle of the body of the pubis and passes above the obturator foramen and unites with the ilium at the iliopubic eminence. It is triangular in cross-section, hence has three borders and three surfaces. Borders Obturator crest It is the rounded margin which extends from the pubic tubercle till the acetabular cavity. It separates the obturator from the pectineal surface. Pectineal line it is a sharp border which starts at the posterior part of the pubic tubercle and extends backwards to become continuous with the arcuate line. It separates the pelvic from the pectineal surface. Inferior border is sharp and forms the upper boundary of the obturator foramen. Surfaces Pectineal surface It faces anteriorly and lies between the obturator crest and the pectineal line. It extends from the pubic tubercle till the iliopubic eminence. Pelvic surface. It faces upwards and backwards. It lies between the pectineal line and inferior border. It is continuous with the pelvic surface of the body of the pubis. The obturator surface faces downwards and backwards. It lies between the obturator crest and the inferior border. A groove is present on this surface which is turned into a canal by the obturator muscles and membrane. It transmits the obturator nerve and vessels. Inferior ramus. It is the part of the pubic bone which extends backwards from the body and unites with the ramus of the ischium on the medial side of the obturator foramen. It has two surfaces and two borders. Anterior surface. It is continuous with the anterior surface of the body. It is directed downwards, forwards, and laterally. Posterior surface. It is continuous with the posterior surface of the body above and with the posterior surface of the ramus of the ischium below. It is divided into three areas by two blunt ridges. Medial area, intermediate area, and the lateral area. Medial border is more prominent in males. Lateral border forms the medial boundary of the obturator foramen and gives attachment of the obturator membrane. Ischium. It forms the posterior and lower part of the hip bone. It makes up about posterior two-fifths of the acetabulum. Parts. 
It is made up of a body and a ramus. Body consists of two ends, three surfaces and three borders. Upper end. It is fused with the ilium and pubis and forms part of the acetabular cavity. The lower end forms part of the ischial tuberosity. Ischial tuberosity is situated in the lower end. It is divided into upper quadrilateral and a lower triangular area. Upper area is divided into upper lateral part and lower medial part. Lower area is divided into smaller medial part and larger lateral part. There is a groove above the ischial tuberosity which lodges the tendons of the obturator internus and gemelli. Femoral surface faces downwards, forwards and laterally. It lies between the lateral and anterior borders. The dorsal surface faces upwards, backwards and laterally. It lies between the lateral and posterior borders. It is continuous with the gluteal surface of the ilium. Pelvic surface. It is smooth and lies between the anterior and posterior borders. The anterior border forms the posterior margin of the obturator foramen. The lateral border separates the femoral surface from the ischial tuberosity. It lodges the obturator externus tendon in the upper part. Posterior border is continuous above with the posterior border of the ilium and helps to form the greater sciatic notch. Ischial spine is a projection at the end of this border. Ramus. It extends upwards, forwards, and medially from the body of the ischium to join the inferior ramus of the pubis. It has two borders and two surfaces. Upper border, lower border, the anterior surface which is continuous with the anterior surface of the inferior ramus of the pubic bone, Posterior surface, which is divided into three areas by two blunt ridges, upper area, middle area, and the lower area, the acetabular cavity. It is a deep hollow in the hip bone which faces laterally, downwards, and forwards. It articulates with the head of the femur. All three of the hip bones contribute to the formation of the acetabular cavity. Pubis, upper and anterior one-fifth, ischium, lower and posterior two-fifths, ilium, the rest of the cavity. Acetabular notch. It is a gap in the inferior part of the acetabular margin. The acetabular fossa is a rough area in the center of the cavity which is non-articular and is covered with a pad of fat. Lunate surface is a horseshoe-shaped area which articulates with the head of the femur. Obturator foramen. It is a large opening in the bone between the pubis and ischium below and the acetabular in the front. Boundaries Above and in front, superior ramus and the body of the pubis. Below and medially, ischiopubic ramus. Behind, body of the ischium. Above, inferior margin of the acetabulum. In males, it is large and oval. In females, it is small and triangular. In the living, it is covered by the obturator membrane which is attached along the margin except in the upper part for the passage of the obturator nerve and vessels from the pelvis to the thigh. Determination of the side. Ilium is expanded and projects up. Pubis faces forwards and medially above the obturator foramen. Acetabular cavity faces forwards, downwards and laterally. Ossification. The hip bone ossifies in three primary centers and five secondary centers. The primary centers appear as follows. One for the ilium at eight weeks of intrauterine life. One for ischium at third month of intrauterine life. One for the pubis during the fourth month of intrauterine life. They fuse with each other by seven to nine years. The Y-shaped triradiate cartilage fuses by 15 to 18 years. The secondary centers are 1 for the iliac crest, 1 for anterior inferior iliac spine, 1 for the body of the pubis, 1 for the ischial tuberosity, and 1 for the ischial spine. All of them appear at puberty. They fuse with the main bone mass by the age of 25 years.